There have been many great comedians before. Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, Evan Hart, however, all of them are so pale in comparison compared to the one and only Dax Flame. Dax Flame is the definition of comedy genius. No one else has a mind like him. He is the pinnacle of comedy. The comedy chain starts with Dax Flame. Every single comedian you know looks up to Dax Flame. Today I'm gonna let loose and have some fun. A couple days ago, I sent my ex a text message and I haven't heard back. I don't feel any regrets or anything. You see what I mean? Like the ability just to go from having a goofy grand old time, being all silly, to start talking or texting his ex. This man is a comedic genius. I get genuinely excited every time I see this man on my TV screen because I know he's about to provide me with the best comedy possible. Look at all those birds on the wire. Have you ever sent a text to an ex like this? Leave a comment if you relate. Me on a date. Thanks for meeting me at the bar. Oh. Thanks for joining me on the date today. Uh, it's oh. I've had a really tough day. I just need to relax. Ah. Look at this, this is a philosopher at work. He saw a random just round piece of wood and he came up in that smart brain of his, a whole skit where he not only turns that piece of wood and that pole into a table, but he has a plot line for it. He's on a date and he's flipping the table on himself. That's fucking hilarious, dude. He's flipping the table into his face on a date. That's fucking hilarious. I hate myself. Just kidding. Today, I'm going to try self-deprecating humor gonna take a quick selfie oh broke the camera because I'm ugly running from all my embarrassing memories oh get away get away I suck I'm an idiot well I'm about as useless as a dead fish and about as stinky as one too you know there are rumors that Dax Flame is Aristotle reincarnated the ability to make that connection of a dead fish being both useless and both being smelly to play out to himself but also to apply comedy to it. It's a level of genius we haven't seen before. This is more genius than anything Einstein or Stephen Hawking ever did for society. Dax Flame is truly a generational being. Stupid, stupid, stupid. It's just a type of humor where you make yourself the butt of the joke. I've been feeling a little lonely lately. I don't think anyone wants to hang out with me. Yeah, of course they don't, you dumb you're a loser. Okay. I wanna give you a quick tour of my apartment. This is where I live because I'm trash. I'd love to make some more jokes, but I gotta go because I got a lot of plans. Oh wait, no I don't. I never have any plans. Oh, except the loser contest is happening today. Oh, but they told me I couldn't enter because they said they needed the other contestants to have a chance. I just don't get how he does it. Every single time, this man cannot make an unfunny joke. Punchline manages to hit you so subtly, yet so hard in a way that you just can't help but to keep laughing at it. An iconic catchphrase of his, okay, who doesn't love this man? My ex broke up with me because she said I had too much baggage. I didn't know what she was talking about. Oh, maybe that. Yeah, I live here. And that's all my baggage. That's all my luggage that I own. Okay, maybe that's what she was talking about. You know what I mean? It's the way he so subtly delivers the punchline and just lets it speak for itself. Once you look at the obscurity of the environment you went and you realize, oh my gosh, he's surrounded by luggage, he lets the punchline speak for itself and, it le and he lets you bow, bow, bow into your gut. And it's so good. I just don't get how he does it. However, on top of being a comedic genius, he also loves to help out his community. He's a big community guy, often inspiring his community to do better. It's simply just incredible. Today, I'm gonna try to encourage some people at the park. He's about to do calisthenics, and I'm going to just kind of try to encourage you and support you through the process. Oh. You're doing awesome. You're doing awesome. You got it. 
the grass is greener when you where you want it. Just has such a way with words when it comes to motivation. It's crazy. I felt like he was talking directly to me through that video. I felt that motivation right through that screen. Frankly, I'm not sure if that guy could have gotten that last pull-up done had it not been for Dax's words of encouragement. He's like a human fortune teller, dude. He gives him a little quote for him to go off of. Now that guy's probably going to become a millionaire all because of Dax Flame. What are your health and fitness goals? Get better at basketball. Okay, That's awesome. Good. I took a walk in the woods and came out taller than the tree. Oh, nice try. Give it another shot. Nice. Oh, awesome. Again, this guy would not have made that shot without Dax Flame. He would have missed those two times and left. But Dax sat there and kept encouraging him with those wonderful words of encouragement. And he went there and he started making his shots all because of Dax Flame. Dax Flame did that, dude. That's how good of a guy Dax Flame is. This person has a parking ticket on their car. So I'm just going to stick $5 on there. There's another one, so I'll do that again. I just put $5 underneath that parking ticket and then $5 underneath that parking ticket just so those people will be a little less sad whenever they see that. Also, I have a joke about um, parking tickets. Red flags in relationships are like parking tickets. I just ignore them. Red flags in relationships are kind of like parking tickets. I just ignore them. <laughs> See, now I really like this one because not only is he helping out people by giving them a bit of money for their parking tickets, but he's also including some really good comedy in there. <laughs> the cut to him doing the stand-up of the joke he just said always fucking gets me. Funniest shit ever, just the sudden cut to him being in a stand-up crowd. And that one guy at the end who laughed, he really loved that fucking joke. I don't know why the rest of the crowd did not go crazy for Dax, so it's low-key upsetting. I just ordered a pizza, and when the delivery driver gets here, I'm gonna do something shocking. They're almost here. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much. Yes. And I actually just wanted to do something nice for someone today. So I was actually just going to give this to you to give to the next customer. <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, so if, you, will you, if you do any other deliveries, you could just share it with whoever you would like. <laughs> Bye. 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 After I gave away the pizza, I realized it might be disappointing for you guys to not see the next customer's reaction. So later in the week, I went and gave away free smoothies to strangers, and it was awesome to see everyone's reactions. Does it taste good? Yeah, it tastes really good. It's always nice to have like a good refreshment before doing a hike. Awesome. How did this make you feel? Um, I guess happy that someone was offering me a smoothie. Awesome. Look at this, such a good guy that he's willing to give that pizza guy both the free pizza and money. He was hungry, he was starving, and he just let that man have the pizza and the money. Loki got scammed, but he didn't care because he's just that humble of a dude. On top of that, he's gonna go proceed to hand out smoothies to hikers. He's IRL Superman. He's so humble that he even collaborates with other creators. Even if it's not necessarily his choice, he's still collaborating with other people. He's just that humble. I mean, look at him. That's such a humble guy. As humble as he is now, he didn't necessarily have humble beginnings. He, before he became this genius comedian, he was actually a bit of an actor, starring in films such as 21 Jump Street. My favorite molecule is water. I'd marry it, unless it was my daughter. Its solid form floats on its liquid form, which makes it far outside the norm. It allowed life to form on ancient Mars, and we use it to wash our cars. H2O. 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 That's okay. Thank you. Look at his acting chops. His Grammy-worthy acting right there from Dax. He probably wasn't even really trying that hard. That was probably just him being all casual. That was probably just him being himself. And hell, and he deserves a Grammy for that. That was wonderful stuff. Looking even farther back than 21 Jump Street, we can find some of his first videos in which he would keep a little daily log about himself. This day, he went to school dressed up as Superman due to the fact he thought it was a costume day. However, 
it was in fact not a costume day. This was kind of a villain arc for Dax here, and I think this is kind of how we got the Dax we have today. I think this caused him to go on such a tyrant that he realized he needed to be this humble, comedic genius Dax that we have now. I am ready for school, and uh, these are the fun binderings. It's just not outfit for today. That was the most embarrassing day of my life. It's like Fridays are cursed or something. I was just walking down the halls dressed like this. And everyone else was wearing regular clothes. Why does it happen to me? It's truly heartbreaking to see such a humble guy in such shambles and despair after an event that, frankly, he didn't deserve to have happened to him. I would like to have a word with each and every single person who gave him a look or said anything to him because who do you think you are talking to Dax Flame in any way that isn't praise? Fucking heathens. Anyways, that's all I have to say about our lord and savior Dax Flame. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I woke up to a battle this morning.